Numerical methods for engineers, problem 5.1. Determine the real roots of f of x is equal to negative 6x squared plus 2.4 times x plus 5.5. First, we solve graphically, so we take our range from negative 10 to 10 by 0.1. Here, we have our function set as an anonymous function for the values of x here and then we graph our function here. So let's take the graph of the function. Here we have our function in blue. And here we can estimate the roots. There would be a root about negative 2 and a root about 5.8 estimated on the graph. So here we use the quadratic formula to solve for our actual roots. So here's our quadratic formula and here's the data that we obtained from our function up here. And when we solve the quadratic formula we get Root 1 is equal to about negative 1.6286 and root 2 is 5.6286 and if we look at the graph that's exactly where we want to be and for part C using three iterations of the bisection method to determine the highest root employ initial guess of x lower equals 5 and x upper equals 10. Compute the estimate error of the approximate relative error and the true percent relative error which we do down here. So here we have our iter three iterations in our loop, our for loop here. Here we have our values to solve for our different error equations. And here we have our if statements to determine the proper way to go through the function and set the values correctly. So if x lower times uh, times our our estimated points found from our equation here, so our estimated root if that's less than zero, then x upper is equal to our estimated root. Else, if it's greater than zero, then x lower is equal to our estimated root. And if it's equal to zero, then the equation is over, except for we're only going through three iterations, so we can ignore that for now. And that's about it. So let's check out our graph. Here we have our original function. And here we have our iterations. Here's our first iteration, our second iteration, and our third iteration, which is on line zero and is very close to the actual val values that we're looking for in this black line right here. And then here is our, in red, and the blue vertical lines that we have here are estimated error and our estimated approximate error and our true approximate error. As you see, they're also going closer to zero. And here are our values that we received from our equations that you saw graphically before. We have our root is equal to 
5.6250, which is very close to where we want to be, which is at 5.6286. Our approximate percent error is 11%, and our true error is almost 0%. And if we go through uh, more iterations, we should get closer to where we want to be. So let's run it. And as you can see, after 20 iterations, our estimated root is at, is equal to our actual root. And that's about it for this problem.